So I had a, uh, somebody asked me a question about how I uh, constructed the mono soup ape. So I thought I'd make a quick video here to show it. Now, uh, I'd recommend if you can using an engine with a uh, metal intake manifold. Um, and what I've done is uh, drilled a series of holes between uh, this row of cooling fins. Removed it here to create an intake manifold. Now this one has uh, 3 8 inch holes on the, this is uh, not from a mono soup ape, but um, I only used 1 8 inch holes on uh, the mono soup ape and just uh, I covered it over with aluminum here to form an intake manifold. Uh, and then I put a, I put a wall, sheet metal wall in here and then connected with sheet metal and epoxy over to this row of intake uh, fins there and it, so it forms an intake manifold and then on the other side over here I cut an opening in here so that it, it also serves in a, as exhaust uh, as it comes out of the both valves are used for exhaust so it'll come out the side here on this one and then out the, the regular exhaust uh, port there because I use both valves for exhaust now uh, you could do it with one valve but I chose to use two <coughs> And then, of course, you have to uh, modify the camshaft, and again, using both lobes. I actually opened the the normal exhaust valve before I opened the in intake valve that's now exhaust also, uh, just to uh, not heat up the intake valve as much. But uh, as you can see, they're pretty brutal uh, lobes on there. And I got 370 degrees duration written on there, and, yeah, and that's uh, that's true. She starts out flat here, and you rotate it around. By the time it closes, it's the camshaft is rotated more than half of a turn. So at your 720 degree cycle, it's about 370 degrees of uh, exhaust valve opening. So uh, later in the video, I will show a uh, timing diagram uh, for this engine. So uh, to build one, I would uh, recommend. Uh, um, picking an engine with a metal intake manifold you could get away with one of the plastic ones but then you could only you would only use your regular exhaust valve for exhaust and not uh, not both valves so anyway I'll continue the video then with uh, that uh, next section showing the timing diagram so I uh, got energetic and dragged out the UMO 205 here to show you more about the construction of the mono soup ape. Um, here's the intake manifold I described earlier. You see I used JB weld on it and aluminum goes down about halfway along there and have 8 inch holes uh, drilled in them there to uh, go into the cylinder. It's uh, spaced them just above the top of the piston when the piston's at bottom dead center. Okay. And then <clears throat> the inlet passage between the manifold and the, the fin area is right there underneath the, the magneto. <clears> then, <throat> as I described there, I cut out the uh, intake manifold to make it uh, work for exhaust. You see, I got an interior uh, wall there. I uh, lined it with high temperature silicone just so there wouldn't be so much. Uh, heat flow between the two but not that that affected anything anyways but uh, and this one I got a plug in the exhaust uh, you you wouldn't want that in there you want both holes uh, open for exhaust in this case uh, no exhaust comes out anywhere it comes out the uh, the ports over here in the other cylinder but it's so, kind of amazing how you can uh, recycle uh, pieces like this uh, I used the mono on this uh, UMO 205 which is a uh, uh, opposed uh, crankshaft uh, two supercharged two-stroke so uh, but anyway just wanted to show you the actual construction for the mono soup ape there okay so uh, here I've done a timing diagram uh, on the left there of the mono soup ape and on the right of uh, regular auto four-stroke uh, engine. Now I'm just going to review the uh, four-stroke engine there first. Get a zoom in here. Okay. 
And as, a, as you can see there, this is uh, timing from a 74 Dodge 318 engine, which is uh, fairly common, I would assume. And I'm this diagram is 720 degrees of crankshaft rotation, so your four-cycle engine uh, has to do uh, two crankshaft revolutions to complete the cycle. So let's review it here. So you got uh, 128 degrees of power stroke, and then the exhaust valve opens, and it's got a duration of 248 degrees. Opens up. Uh, 52 degrees before bottom dead center and closes 16 degrees after top dead center. So we got 26 degrees of valve overlap. The intake valve opens 10 degrees before top dead center when the piston's coming up, it's still on exhaust. And it has 240 degrees of intake uh, duration. And then when the intake valve closes, you end up with 130 degrees of uh, compression. Uh, duration. Now, the mono soupape, it is completely different than this. Yeah, mono soupape cycle, 270 degree crankshaft rotation. It's also a four stroke engine, keep in mind. Okay, now it, it only has 85 degrees of power stroke and then 275 degrees of exhaust. Then it keeps the exhaust valve open after the piston reaches top dead center on uh, exhaust stroke. And then the piston's moving down so it sucks fresh air uh, back in through the exhaust valve for 115 degrees of travel. Then it closes the exhaust valve and there's nothing open in the cylinder so it develops a high degree of suction here for 45 degrees. And then um, 20 degrees before bottom dead center it uncovers the tiny uh, inlet ports uh, basically all the way around the cylinder just a small row of uh, holes and uh, and then bottom dead center the piston starts to move up and it takes it to another 20 degrees to uh, cover the uh, inlet ports back up so during this time here it sucks a very rich mixture uh, like way too rich to burn sucks it into the cylinder and dilutes it with the air already uh, sucked in through the exhaust valve. So between the two you end up with a burnable charge in the cylinder then it compresses it. It's got 160 degrees for compression and then uh, give or take top dead center it fires it again. I've ignored uh, ignition timing advance on this just to make this uh, simpler but uh, that's the basic cycle of the mono soupape. The other thing I'll point out here you got the power stroke, exhaust opens very early and it bleeds off the pressure in the cylinder so that when the piston reaches bottom dead center here no uh, exhaust transfers into the crankcase through the, the open uh, inlet ports. So the, the cycle is uh, rather ingenious although it is rather inefficient uh, mainly due to the uh, very short power stroke as you can see comparing the two here that power stroke on a regular four stroke is uh, quite a bit. Uh, well in this case uh, 85 degrees versus 128 degrees so it's quite a bit shorter power stroke on the mono soupape. It wasn't a very efficient engine but uh, built in the early 1900s for use on uh, rotary airplanes meaning that the uh, airplane engines meaning that the cylinders rotated and the crankshaft uh, stood still. Anyway I uh, hope that explains uh, a bit about the mono soupape, a rather unique engine and uh, the previous part of the video there uh, helps anyone that wants to uh, try to construct one of these.